What's up, Tackle Warehouse? Tackle Warehouse, first look here for you guys on Facebook, Instagram, live here at ICAST, giving you behind the first look at all the new products coming out. And we got some new products from Abby Garcia, Berkeley, and we got a guy who might know a thing or two about jigs. <laughs> and Mr. Gary Klein, the man, the myth, the legend. How you doing, sir? Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate this opportunity to show off a lot of the new products that we've been working really hard at at Berkeley. Some very unique designs, and one thing that's really cool about all of the jigs that we're mm -hmm. about to kind of go through is that for the first time ever, we have learned how to create a power bait silicone skirt. That's so insane. all of these jigs have the proven power bait sin in them. Already in the skirt. Already in the skirt. That's insane. So we've got, we've got a few different jigs. So, I mean, I guess that you can put the power bait set on the back or max set on the back of the hook and you got it already in the jig. That's awesome. So let's take us through some of the jigs that uh, we have and what, what we got new. Well, first, before we do that, let me just say you real bet. quick that a jig is more than lead on a hook with a weed guard. It's very important to understand how versatile a jig is. And the head of choice basically is for a certain condition, what you as an angler are trying to accomplish. So let me kind of go through my designs that we created for Berkeley. So let Perfect. me just start with one and go. Yeah, start with one, and then what we'll do is talk about how they're, they're all available for pre-order, so you guys know that, how about that? And we'll have the man just kind of go through them all. Just know that every one of these baits is available for pre-order, and we, you guys can check them out right now, down below in the video. Well, for, I'm gonna start with what we call a heavy cover jig. And if you notice, the line tie comes directly out of the nose of the jig. And the reason for that is I have a smooth transition on both sides of the knot. And when we say it's a heavy cover jig, it comes in three sizes, three quarters of an ounce, an ounce, and an ounce and a quarter. A bait like this is what we use for penetrating heavy cover, a lot of aquatic. And we have a, all of the hooks that are in the jigs are a Fusion 19, which is a round band, double tapered needle point. It's a very strong, durable short point and it has a huge bite to it, okay? The other thing that's very unique about all of the jig is a keeper system that I have designed into it. It's not a wire, it's actually lead on the shank, and you just slide your plastic trailer on, and it really holds it snug. So this is what we call our heavy cover jig. Three sizes, three quarter ounce, and an ounce and a quarter. A very cool jig, you know, a lot of times, you know, since the whole punch skirt and that kind of stuff came to be, you know, you saw guys kind of get away from the, the, the jig a little bit, but there's a lot of guys that are on the know that still really love using a jig and going behind guys throwing a punch skirt and catching fish and catching bigger fish. I know our boy Jared Lindner is a big fan. He doesn't talk about it much and he's trying to keep that down, but he likes to throw these style of jigs, uh, punching in the grass instead of using uh, the standard, you know, the, not the standard, but the, the new hot little punch deal. Very oh, cool yeah. bait, available for pre-order. Oh, exactly. Uh, and let me just run to this other one. I guess uh -huh. I'll just go to the skipping jig. Okay. Uh, the new Berkeley Skip and Jig, of course, you know, we have the power bait skirt on it, comes in two sizes, a three-eighths and a half ounce. And what you'll notice is that the shoulders on this jig are flared. And the reason why I flared them in design mm -hmm. is that when an angler is skipping, when you make your initial contact on the water, that will set up whether the cast is going to be a good cast or not. Okay. And when you skip with a rolled cast, for those of you that do it, this is what makes contact on the water first, is the head of the jig. And that's why I have it wide and flat. And folks, you run this out, I usually always skip a 20, but I tell you, you can slide it as far back underneath the dock as you want to go. Again, 5 aught Fusion 19 needle point with the power bait skirt, wide flared shoulders, on our Berkeley skipping jig. Very cool, again, available pre-order right here at Tackle Warehouse, guys. What's up next, Gary? Well, the next one I wanna to go to, I guess really is a very versatile jig. It's what we call our swim jig. Okay. Guys fish this in clear water, dirty water, aquatic vegetation, heavy line, light line. So we've actually designed two versions. We have our uh, light wire version. Okay our finesse version as, as we call it. But if you notice that we have the line tie coming directly out of the nose and it splits the center of the head perfect. Mm -hmm. If you use a pogey tail, which I love to fish our Berkeley grass pig as a trailer, 
this bait right here has got such a rock to it, it, it it's actually pretty phenomenal. Nice. We have the same jig with these heads in what we call, this is our heavy, okay. with a heavier hook. For the anglers, when we get in the real thick stuff and we fish a lot of braid, 50, 65, when we're fishing the swim jig, we have our heavier Fusion 19 with a needle point hook. So these are our two swim jigs. Same, same sizes and same weed guards on? A little bit different weed guards? The no, same? the weed guard on the finesse is actually reduced okay. a little bit. Okay. And then we have the larger hook in the regular swim jig. So you got a swim jig for every situation, perfectly designed, mm -hmm. whether finesse or regular. Yeah, yeah, if you want to throw the ultra, you know, our finesse, we throw it a lot on 15, 17 uh -huh. uh, fluorocarbon. And normally with the heavy hook, we fish it a lot on braid. Okay. So. They're very cool. Again, check those guys out. Both jigs available for pre-order right here on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, the next jig I'd like to show you is what we call our flipping jig. And the flipping jig, for those of you that know me and my background, you can see the line tie is perfectly in smooth transition. In other words, when, when you're flipping, you're flipping in heavy cover. Yeah, yeah. Your jig's going to follow your line. Okay. So it's real important that your line to the knot to the bottom side of the head is a perfect smooth transition ah, because this is going to follow wherever the line goes. Yeah, yeah. The oval shape, as you'll notice on this head right here, is just not a head um, by coincidence. There's a lot of design and study that went into the oval shape. The oval shape head is the quickest head shape to rotate a hook in the upper position for better penetration when it's coming out of the fish's mouth. Again, it's got a 5 aught Fusion 19 double taper needle point in it, uh, along with our really good keeper system. That's but that cool. is that is my flipping jig. Uh, it comes in four sizes, uh, from a quarter all the way up to a 5 eighths. Awesome bait. Flip it awesome. a lot on fluorocarbon, 25 pound test line. Like you're known for jigs. If there's one thing you're known for, I'm thinking it's probably the flipping jigs, all right? I mean, that's, that's just your, your bread and butter. Right? I can't make it any better. Yeah, yeah. And again, it's got the power bait skirt on it. And when you smell it, it <laughs> smells to me like money. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so the next jig that we'll go to is what we're calling a football head. And really, it's because I haven't had the opportunity to, to come up with a name for it. But this is an original design for me. And what I did is I took my experience on the West Coast and growing up fishing a football head mm -hmm. and actually changed it a little bit. Okay. The thing about a football head jig is it does two things. It allows the angler to drag things on the bottom because of the high line tie at rocks kind of set your trailer up. Mm -hmm. And when it falls, it falls vertical. Like when you're fishing the cliffs at Lake Powell, Lake Mead, it falls straight. So what I did with my football head is I took and I built, I pulled the outside back and kind of streamlined it. Uh -huh. But by doing that, I increased the bottom surface. So when I'm dragging it on the bottom, I have more contact, more rubbly, more disturbance on the bottom. You can see how I redesigned it. I still have the line tie coming uh, out of a, uh, not a 90, but it, it's out of a 45. Mm -hmm. So I still get the rock to where when I'm using my rod tip, I can stand the trailer up, mm -hmm. make it look like a crayfish. Again, uh, uh, just a phenomenal bait, power bait skirt, double taper needle point. Very cool, very cool design bait. Again, like all these baits so far, a lot of thought obviously went into every single detail of this stuff. And uh, obviously, like again, not to be the dead horse, but you know a thing or two about jigs, and it's really cool to see you kind of really getting a chance to really kind of break it down and, and get every technique designed with the correct jig and the correct, I guess, uh, aspects or correct things you need for each jig. So it's really cool. Well, I tell you, you know, like I said earlier, a jig is much more than lead on a hook. Yeah, yeah. Very, very versatile. Uh, final but not least is a um, finesse version okay. of the flip jig. I have the oval shape head, smooth transition coming out on the line, but I have this in a smaller hook. Okay. It's actually a 4 aught Fusion 19 hook, a little bit lighter wire, because these are the type of baits I love to cast with 12 and 15 when I'm pitching and throwing around in the cleaner water and shallow. I fish a lot of ultra, um, ultra light stuff, and this is one of my go-to jigs.
And folks, the other thing that you may notice too is that our skirt lengths are uh -huh. pretty standard across the jig line. But the reason why you may say, well, it's a finesse jig and it's a little bit long, I left it up to the buyer, the angler, to be able to trim the skirt to the way you like it. Because it, we all trim skirts different. But if you don't have the material, you can't trim anything. Yeah. So everything is a standard length, mm -hmm. and then you can trim it and make it any way you want to. Nice. Well, a lot of cool new jigs coming out from the man, the jig man himself, Gary Klein. Every, every, oops, sorry about that. Everything, every detail is thought about. And one of the coolest things is they got power bait into a skirt. That's insane. That's going to, I don't know how much, increase your bites, increase how long the fish hold on. Uh, really cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. All these jigs available right now. Pre-order them at TackRouse.com. Take it easy, guys.